guys, I know it's been about two months since I've made a rant video, but I'm finally back. My channel's been doing very well this month for YouTube Shorts and my other videos. In total, I got over 10,000 views, which is honestly crazy. But um, yeah, man, I just want to talk about some things that have come up recently because I just finished some courses in college. And it's just been so miserable, man, you know. So first off, I just want to say, hi, welcome back, obviously. And the reason why I left for two months was because I was dealing with these classes, man, especially this one class. It's known as first year experience seminar. And pretty much this class, you need to... Quote unquote, get experience for what's going to be like in college life, quote unquote, even though I'm going to a two year college. So it's kind of pointless because, you know, I'm going to have to transfer to another four year college after. So it's like, you know, completely pointless. And um, guys, this teacher, he was like the biggest douchebag, goody two shoes, you know, everything has to be 100 percent type of guy. You know, he was just very, very annoying. He always just pissed me off and he, you know, made us sign up for this crappy ass program called LinkedIn, which I don't even know what that is. It just looks like a crappy version of Facebook and I've used it. I tried sharing my art on it and, you know, I got some analytics on there. I got some analytics, right? But honestly, guys, LinkedIn is just garbage, all right? They say, oh, you get so many opportunities, on, um, excuse me, you get so many opportunities on LinkedIn learning, you know, but it's like, you really don't. You know, you get more opportunities to do certain job in different markets, you know, through Instagram, through Facebook, through social media platforms that everybody knows, you know, it's not restrictive. And on LinkedIn, people have to be registered as a user to see your profile, you know, and you might be thinking, oh, bro, you know, there probably is a lot of good things about LinkedIn, too. Right. And it's like. No, it's just like a crappier version of Facebook. You know, they just have the same posts. Um, they have less hashtags than Instagram and Facebook. So you have to use even less hashtags, which is not good for getting you traction. Because for Instagram, for example, if you use like a bunch of hashtags like explore page or explore shorts or the same with YouTube too, honestly, if you use certain hashtags and they get you more traction and they get the algorithm ball going, you know, well, for LinkedIn, it just, it doesn't matter, like, how many hashtags you use. You could use the most popular hashtags that they have, and you'll still only get, like, 50 impressions at most, you know, so it's just really bad. Kind of went off topic, but, yeah, to get back on topic, the class, it was pretty much, you know, making schedules, um, using Excel, like, just a bunch of dumb shit, bro, honestly. And the teacher, like, he was literally complaining to us. He was like, you guys can't follow simple instructions. It's like, bitch, you're the guy, you're the teacher. You're supposed to be teaching us how to do this shit, all right? We are the student. We don't know what the hell we're doing. That's why we're even, unfortunately, in college because, you know, I want to be in New York right now, but I'm not. So, you know, I'm stuck doing this bullshit and I'm trying to grow on um, YouTube, trying to get my channel monetized, try to get more views by doing shorts, you know, but yeah, um, this guy, he was just always pissed off, like, he just, I can't even explain it, guys, and he was like a bald guy, too, he was a bald black guy, and, you know, he just had, like, the most beta male looking appearance ever you know he had a fucking bow tie he had um he looked like steve urkel honestly like a a nerdier version of steve urkel without the glasses you know that's how he looked but whatever i passed that class with a b and by the way guys i did every single assignment 100 percent complete and i still got a b for no reason so that really pissed me off because i missed one assignment guys there was 20 25 assignments that we had and I missed one of them, and that brought me all the way from an A to a B, and it wasn't even a test or exam, you know. And 
what else about college? Um, right now, I'm taking this art history class, which is stupid. I've been taking a bunch of history and math classes for a quote-unquote associates and arts degree, which isn't even going to be worth fuck, you know? Like, I thought an associates and art degree would just be all art classes, you know? But if I look at my schedule, it's literally just biology, sociology, um, liberal arts, yeah, quote-unquote liberal, quote-unquote arts, math, you know? Guys, they just put a bunch of bullshit classes that you don't need, and they just put the word art in it, and they just assume that that's art-related, but it has nothing to do with art, you know? Like, I had to learn about Arab numerical equations and, you know, different formulas and algorithms, you know? I had to learn about graphing. Like, bro, graphing is for biology. Like, keep all this shit out of there, bro. Just give me painting classes. Like, guys, I've only had one art class, and that's art appreciation, and now... I'm taking a second art class, art, um, history, art history one. There's two art histories I have to take, by the way. There's literally duplications of every class. There's two art histories, two biologies, um, two liberal arts math. And guys, the stupidest part is that these liberal arts math, you need to pretty much pass a final exam. You know, I've always hated final exams, bro, especially for math. Like, when I was in high school, I did good on the final exams for Algebra 1, you know, and Algebra 2, I did good on those, but for Geometry, I just failed completely, bro, because I just don't get it. I don't understand why there has to be graphing in high school and college math, you know? It's like, I'm not trying to become an engineer or, you know, trying to become an inventor where using graphs would be necessary. I'm just trying to become an artist, illustrator, slash animator. But they just give you so many stupid classes, guys, and it takes so long. And the classwork is just so repetitive. It's the same thing over and over again. One day you take the test, and then the other day you have to write a stupid assignment. Like, guys... Another example, right? I'm taking American history this semester as well. So two history classes, right? So, so fun, you know? And the American history class, this teacher, you know, he's an asshole. He's annoying. He's a prick. He's like another one of these got to do everything perfectly, 100%, or else you're going to fail type of people. And, um, guys... We use this thing called um, Canvas, and there was this message board, right? Just like I previously said in one of my older videos, like from two months ago, we have this message board where we have to reply to other people. But get this, guys. This teacher, this dumbass, he made it so that you can't see other people's replies unless you write a reply first. So that pretty much means that I have to write an entire reply and then I have to post it. And guys, guess what? He doesn't even let you edit the the reply, you know? So it's like, what if I messed something up? What if I, you know, didn't write my name correctly, you know? He just disabled editing and disabled deleting. And I was just so annoyed. I'm like, bro, how much of a degenerate piece of shit do you have to be to disable editing and, you know, deleting? Like, I've never seen that in my entire life. You know, even when we had... um online classes back in 2020 when I was in senior year we'd never had any of that bro but in this college they're like oh no everything has to be this way and that way you know and guys honestly I'm probably gonna drop out of college because at this point I'm just going just because I have nothing better to do like I'm not learning anything that I am truly interested in I'm not gaining any benefit from going to college I'm just getting stressed out and I'm just very angry all the time and, yeah, I just am completely done with college. I just hate having to wake up and go stupid classes, learn about dumb stuff I don't care about that aren't even related to art, you know? But they say that, quote-unquote, is necessary. But, you know, I'm just completely done, guys. So this is going to be the update video for why I was gone for two months. And I hope you guys enjoy. Get me to... 
80 subscribers from right now I'm at 77 and yeah continue seeing where this journey takes me because I'm probably gonna be doing some vlogs soon I'm probably gonna you know be talking more outside in person who knows man I'm just gonna keep rolling keep seeing what happens and I hope you guys join me on this journey and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video